This is a water electrolysis cell. Here we see two gas collector cylinders, one with oxygen and another with hydrogen. The electric current through water is provided by a battery. The reaction that, it, that is explained here is the hydrogen evolution that happens on the negative end of the red line. Where hydrogen evolves is called a cathode. The reaction happening on the cathode is written at the right side of, on the top of the screen. Electrons combine with water to generate hydrogen, so the cathode must be negatively charged. There, there are three universally accepted mechanism steps for hydrogen evolution. We only analyze two of them. These are the Volner and Herovkai steps. The third step not being included is called cathode. The cat catalyst surface, surface or cathode has active sites labeled as M. In the Volmer step, water splits and the activate site, the active site absorbs a, hydro, a hydrogen atom and a, and a hydroxide ion is released. An example of an absorbed molecule is shown in the suggested pop-up link linked at the top of the screen. In the hay rob sky step, a hydrogen absorbed atom combines with water and a molecule of hydrogen evolves. In addition to a hydro hydroxide ion and the active site and then the active site, active site becomes empty and ready for another reaction. To better understand what is happening at the molecular level during hydrogen evolution on the cathode, we show here a typical double layer form on the surface of a negatively charged electrode. Water dipoles labeled as one are oriented and attracted due to the Columbic interaction between water molecules and the excess of el on electrons on, on the cathode, excess of electrons of, on the cathode. How water molecules are attracted and oriented to the negative electrode or cathode is explained in the suggested pop-up linked at the top of the screen. The direction of the, of the uh, electric field points towards the electrode. The particle labeled as phi is an absorbed atom, which for our case is hydrogen. The following slide shows the identification of each number. Here, the identification of each label of the previous slide. There are different apparatuses to study hydrogen evolution from water electrolysis. Here, we have a selected electrochemical impedance spectros spectroscopy and the instrument to carry this test is shown. As the previous figure, we see two electrodes in the water, a cathode labeled as W and an anode labeled as C. We then need a third electrode to establish the potential that the cathode is operating. This potential is measured from a reference level. An argental or calomel reference electrode is used. The electric current and potential is monitored and controlled by a potential, potential stat. The cathode is kept at, a, at an average potential. Let's call it EWE. If a per perturbation of the potential signal from the potential stat is, in, is done on the cathode, the measured electric current changes, and this depends on the frequency of the pertub pertubative wave signal. The frequency goes from low to high, and the amplitude for our case is 5 millivolts. 
one important feature to highlight from the wave signal is the duration of the, of, of the time where the potential is above the average potential. This being longer for lower frequencies as shown in the figure. Thus, the impulse impulse applied on a particular particle will be longer at low frequencies. This influences the motion of heavy particles like hydrogen ions. Here, three different chemical phenomena are sorted by wave frequency where they manifest. At low wave frequencies, we see the mass transfer phenomena. A ionic mass transfer example is shown in the suggested pop-up linked at the top of the screen. At intermediate wave frequencies, the charge transfer phenomena manifests, and at high frequencies, the motion of electrons is detected. This only happens for the case where the cathode is a semiconductor. A related related phenomenon example about natural, natural re resonance, reson resonance frequency is explained in the suggested pop-up linked at the top of the screen. The main reason of this phenomena manifesting at different frequencies is related to the weight of the particle being translated. For example, a hydrogen ion is much heavier than, a, than an electron. We have always seen capacitive behavior at low and high frequencies, but at intermediate wave frequencies where charge, charge transfer manifests, we have seen capacitive and inductive behavior of the responsive electric current. When the wave peak of the electric current is ahead of that of the potential wave, the system is said, is, is said to be dominantly capacitive and when the electric current is behind, the system is said, is said to be dominant, dominantly inductive. How water dipoles increase charge capacitance is explained in the suggested pop-up link at the top of the screen. Identifying the rate determining step of a reaction mechanism of hydrogen evolution, called RDS, help us to qualitatively determine the ratio between water dipoles and absorbed hydrogen atoms on the cathode surface. The rate determining step is done by linear voltammetry, which in another is another electrochemical test. For further information, refer to my publications. When Volmer is the rate determining step, the system behaves capacitively for and for Hayroth sky, the system becomes inductive. We, live, we believe that absorbed hydrogen is the source of this inductive behavior. Absorbed hydrogen has been predicted to induce magnetic dipoles, magnetic moments as described in this publication. Stop. In this sense, absorbed hydrogen can be modeled either as, as a small magnet or a charged particle moving along a ring. Now, these are two selected results from electrochemical impedance studies done out for hydrogen evolution on different samples. One rainy nickel and the other rainy cobalt. The both admittance plot on rainy nickel shows three regions labeled A, B, and C. A belongs to mass transfer, B to charge transfer, and C to oxide, oxide impedance. All these regions are separated by orders of magnitude of wave frequency, and they all behave cap capacitively as the phase of the, IR of the red curve is always positive. In addition, the rate determining step for this material was evolving, which gives further evidence of our results. However, the rainy cobalt sample has an area of the red curve where the phase is slightly negative. For this sample, both Volmer and Hayrovsky steps are rate determining. Therefore, a small inductive be behavior should be expected. This results, result makes, makes us believe that absorbed hydrogen in, is in, in, in 
enough proportion on the surface of the catalyst will make the system to, in, to have inductive behavior. Last comments of electrochemical impedance spectroscopy. There have been arguments about errors introduced to measurements by the reference electrode. The reference electrode assembly on the left, labeled as A, has been described as, a, as the one used by publications that claim to find a constant capacitive loop or behavior at high frequencies. On the other hand, the reference electrode on the right has been described as the appropriate one. We have done our work with the reference electrode B, which is the one that claims to minimize errors at high frequencies. We believe that this information should be incorporated into future publications so the scientific community can accept alternate interpretations of results obtained by electrochemical impedance, in particular when they are in conflict with all publications.